Unfortunately, there are always gonna be appliances you just shouldn't buy, especially new construction. Everything really bad can be avoided with a bit of planning and some good design. This is part three in a series we'll continue to create as long as there are appliances you should never buy. Having a framework of what not to do will bring you closer to a functional and well-designed kitchen. So in this video, you'll learn the appliances to avoid, but I'll also give you some worthy alternatives. I realize it's much harder to retrofit some of the already installed bad appliances in poor kitchen designs. This list will descend in seriousness. Pay close attention to the end of the video. Let's get started. Bespoke seems like a good idea. I give credit to Samsung for trying. The bespoke kitchen for ranges revolves around all their appliances, but especially the refrigerator, the stove, microwave, and dishwasher available in Navy, Tuscan, stainless, and black stainless. Black stainless is easily scratchable, showing a shiny undercoating, and Tuscan is really brown. However, the refrigerator is the main attraction and the focal point of the spoke. You have seven options in glass, like charcoal gray, morning blue, clementine, pink, and sunrise yellow, along with the steel options mentioned above, plus green. Here's the problem. Refrigerators are never the focal point in good kitchen design. You centralize the sink, cooking, and dishwasher in a good kitchen plan. Adding four trendy colors to one appliance is maybe a bit much. Bespoke is more popular for that reason, plus the idea of replacing them at $250 per panel, plus installation. Whenever you grow tired of a multicolor design is a bit misplaced. Installation is always a problem with any appliance. You don't want to install panels yourself. Better idea is to panel your refrigerator with your cabinet fronts and make your range the focal point for one color, not four. Many brands are now twin evaporators so the drier frozen air stays in the freezer while the warmer, more humid air stays in the refrigerator. You have better temperature management, the taste and odors from your refrigerator don't end up in your freezer. Think stinky cheese aroma in your ice cream. You also have less defrosting in your freezer because warmer air isn't always circulating from the refrigerator. You can still buy a single evaporator refrigerator, but the better refrigerators will all have two at the same price. The architect who built my house five years ago and I have become reacquainted. He is a client waiting for a special well-oven for about 20 months. Many manufacturers will wait until they have enough on order, then manufacture the appliance. For a unique appliance, that could be a big potential problem for your house or project. Many speed oven combinations have been on order for almost two years. I love this design to a degree. You can use this blower instead of a big hood and see through your windows instead of looking at a hood. Great idea. However, back in the 1980s, my landlord had a much smaller 410 CFM bath fan over his range and the grime around it was palpable. Flash forward and these hoods are much larger with greater CFM. Then again, most ranges have way more output as well. Yet many people are placing them on higher ceilings when the instructions clearly call for four to seven feet off the cooking surface or 10 foot ceilings max. Interesting solution, but not ideal, so be careful. A good alternative is a hood 24 inches in depth with adequate CFM for the way you cook. Over the range microwaves are my favorite appliance on this list. They centralize your cooking. You can even buy them in convection as well for a second oven, yet the design hasn't changed much since the 1990s, but the ranges have. The depth only averages about 15 to 16 inches deep, while the front burners of a range are well past that at 22 to 24 inches. CFM is a bit light at 310 to 350. For proper venting, buy a better hood of 24 inches with adequate CFM, especially if you cook. Slider hoods are another upscale appliance that should have died in the late 1980s. The thin glass extension does not provide much capture. You also lose the cabinet as well. Buy a wood hood, just make sure it's 24 inches deep with the appropriate amount of CFM. Many of these problems are annoying, but yet manageable. You can buy a bespoke refrigerator and love the style, at least initially. My mom's single evaporator refrigerator always seemed to work even though twin evaporator models are better at the same price. Be careful with the unique special order appliances. Make sure there aren't similar yet more available options before you order anything truly special. However, vending is a big issue. Remember, specifying the right appliances means you're just about half there. What happens after your purchase, installation, service, and delivery 
are in many ways more important. Click the link to download our free appliance buying guide. Unfortunately, we all know someone who's been talked into buying the wrong appliance. Don't let that happen to you. Almost 1 million people have found the right answers in a Yale guide. Thanks for watching.